All right, we're going to find out what, what props are all about. Um, I see you have some belts here. What, what, are the, what are these for? Do we take a belt? Absolutely take a yoga belt. Okay. And uh, and how about, these are blankets, I see. What, what, is, what are blankets, these for? They help to keep the body warm during relaxation when you pull off very quickly. We can also fold them and mold them to the shape of our body to support us. Okay. Um, and I guess these are the mats, right? These are the mats. Help yourself. So I, sometimes I see people take two mats. Is that okay? What, what do you feel? How do you feel about two mats? Absolutely. Um, mats come in different thicknesses. So if you have sensitive knees um, or you like a little extra padding on a hard floor, two mats is a good idea. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go with one. And um, what are these? I, I, I've never – sometimes I uh, see people use them in class, but n not every time. These are yoga bolsters. They're often used in supportive postures, or sometimes if you have low back discomfort, lying on your back is uncomfortable unless your knees are supported. So okay. you use these under the knees sometimes. All right. And uh, these must be the blocks. These are yoga blocks. They come in different styles, shapes, and sizes. These are cork blocks, which are very sturdy. So let's go do some yoga. Okay. All right. Yoga class begins when the teacher takes his or her space on the mat. Usually a few minutes of introductory conversation will occur here, questions and answers to the group, a context of what to expect during the class. And that is followed by uh, pranayama. Pranayama is breath control, exercises that are designed to bring more oxygen into the body and prepare us for our practice. Let's look at those postures now. Mountain pose. Feet aligned under knees and hips, the bones of the spine stacked nicely to support the whole length of the upper body. Variations are arms down, hands at heart, or arms up in a comfortable gait. Warrior one, lunge with front knee stacked over the ankle, an active and supportive back leg. Arms rising up, fingers to the sky, gaze forward. Warrior two, another lunge with the hips and shoulders open. Solid foundation, gaze forward. Triangle pose. Often we'll use a block here to lengthen the bottom arm. So the hand can rest into something supportive. Tree pose. Child's pose, a resting posture that broadens and opens the low back. Downward facing dog. Cobra pose. Bridge pose, another back bend. Reclined spinal twist. After posture flow um, and performing a sequence of poses that's usually carefully designed by the instructor, every class ends with Shavasana. It's a few minutes of deep relaxation and restoration time so the body can heal. Shavasana is performed lying on the back and often with a blanket. teacher will let you know when Shavasana is over, and the class usually ends with everyone seated, hands at heart, offering Namaste.